What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe. If you're a new viewer, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on my latest content. With that out of the way, let's get started right away on this review. So as you can tell from the top of the box, the labels have been removed and uh, these shoes are sold. And uh, this is a Nike shoe, as you can tell from this tape here. As you open up the box, you see it's wrapped on the outside to protect the box, which I really like that Nike did. Uh, but before that, let me show you the receipt. Give me a second. I don't want to. There is a receipt, guys, from Nike. Yes, that's legit. And then it's double wrapped. The shoe is double wrapped, as you can tell here which is really nice. I've never seen Nike do that, not even with the Space Jam Jordans, which is kind of strange, but, um, or the Jordan 11s, any of them. And as you can tell from the top of the box, it has the mic right there in white text and the Thunderbolt there in orange with the white outline. That Thunderbolt, yes, that is Gatorade Thunderbolt, so that should be a really uh, good sign to you as to what this review is gonna be on, and also the title. Um, so this has like a matte orange finish to it and it has texture almost like sandpaper with a very, very, um, light, light sandpaper. And then it has the orange glossy outline on the corners, as you can tell. On this side of the box, we have the Nike and white there, the Nike branding and white. And it has the same kind of texture as on the top of the box. On this side, we finally get a little bit of that green, uh, darker green Gatorade iconic color there, and then the Nike branding there. And on this side, the same thing as on the opposite side with Nike branding there. On the bottom is all glossy orange finish with the Thunder Gatorade Thunderbolt in white, and then you know pretty much your Nike branding in white as well, and then some of the labeling stickers on there. Um, and today we are doing the review on the Air Jordan One Retro High OG. They're calling this the official colorway Cyber Cyber, uh, but it is called the Lemon Lime uh, colorway, or if you want to be very specific, in my personal opinion, they look like neon yellow, but um, I'll let you be the judge of that here shortly. So uh, before I move forward, shout out to the camera lady. She's back from overseas, so I expect the videos to be a lot better, guys. Um, so hit that like button just because hopefully these videos are a lot better after this. So um, I appreciate your guys' patience with you know me recording on my own, so... Anyways, on the inner liner of the lid, uh, you'll see it says Be Like Mike there in white text and it has the really glossy orange finish to it. Overall, I think um, the 175 retail price was pretty much you paying for a lot of this packaging. And here's another example of that statement right there that I made. We have the Air Jordan and Gatorade towel here. So that's really cool. I like how well they go together. So. Shout out to Jordan and Gatorade for that. Uh, here is the paper that you see on um, the outermost wrapping paper of the shoes. As you can tell, this is actually Gatorade uh, bottle condensation. That is what is meant to replicate and mimic with this. A lot of people this was said this was meant to mimic sweat from Jordan or from you know just from people that use it while working out or you know. But I think this is just condensation from the bottle because if they were to mimic sweat, that would be kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of weird. I don't know. I, got, I can't believe people actually thought that's what that these drops were, these uh, water drops. But anyways, the background is that silver metallic gray colorway. And then here you see it again. As you fold this back, you see this right here. Regular uh, Jordan 1 paper wrap. And we finally get to the shoes. Here they are, guys. The Air Jordan 1 High OG. And they're calling these the Cyber or the Lemon Lime or the Neon Yellow is what I prefer to call them. Very nice shoe. I can tell you just from feeling it right off the bat from first impressions, this is really good quality, guys. For 175 come on. It's like you're sleeping on these if you haven't gotten yourself a pair. But I will say some of the colorways are a little bit too out there for me. Um, the only colorways I would really cop, to be honest, for personal wear is either the purple or the blue, the lagoon blue. Other than that, yeah, that orange, no, nah, I'm not feeling that orange. Here is the other one. That orange kind of reminds me like Halloween or something. It's like, you're going to look like a clown wearing the orange ones. 
and the blue ones you can wear with black jeans um, and so with the same uh, the purple ones you can do the same so let me get here shortly to this review let me set this up so here they are guys the Air Jordan 1 retro high OG uh, cyber or lemon lime colorway or neon yellow whatever you want to call it because those are the three colorways that I've been hearing online very very nice shoe guys as you can see it did come with extra laces here we have the orange laces for Gatorade orange and then it has the aglets are like a rubber metallic texture to it these are in white and then it has the orange there as well um, and then the ones it has on currently is just like the same color as the upper which is that neon yellow and the aglets are like a rubber texture but they're made from some kind of aluminum metal or something um so that's just interesting the insole guys or not the insole the shoe tree doesn't have any stamp on this one and i don't think this one either yeah this one doesn't have a stamp either so if yours doesn't have a stamp don't freak out um like i said i purchased these from nike sneakers app these dropped last week i want to say last weekend um, but anyways, starting off with the quality of the shoe. So as you can tell from the toe box right here, as you squish it down, it does sink in and it wrinkles. I wouldn't describe it as premium, premium, uh, you know, leather, but it is pretty good. The edges, the edge cuts on these, as you can see, you see a little bit of gray hints, like grayish white hints. And I believe that's because they dyed most of the leather on the outside to create this color. So that's just an interesting observation I made. The toe box overlay has that really nice um, plush leather. I mean, if you if you squeeze it, you can really feel the softness. It's buttery. Um, it's comparable to the leather on the Air Jordan 1 breads. Um, so, yeah. And then right here as well, it's just, the leather is really good quality. I can't say it's similar to the Shattered Backboard uh, Air Jordan 1s because I've never owned those and I've never really seen them in person. So, I will say it's very similar to the Bread 1 um, quality. The Nike swoosh, however, isn't that plush and soft, but the other, the toe box overlay, this part right here, and then this midsection of the shoe is very soft, and it sinks in, and it just feels really good to the touch. The Nike swoosh is just your regular standard leather. The Here towards the back of the heel, they tried to make it premium leather, but I guess, you know, because this leather is really hard to make smooth, it's not really there yet. But we see the Thunderbolt there in orange, and the outline is in black, the Gatorade Thunderbolt. You see the Jordan Wings logo there. Very nice plush leather up here, by the way, if, in case you're wondering. You can see how I just squeeze and it sinks in. And then right here you have that uh, hang tag, and it says Gatorade there in orange and green and yellow. And then on this side you have that Air Jordan Wings logo branding there. It looks really nice, and it should be on your right shoe on the right side of the shoelace box, so just keep that in mind. Here on the tongue, we have that nylon lemon lime colorway. And then you have this nice Gatorade orange Nike branding there. And on the back, it says Be Like Mike. And it actually is very nice and plush to the touch. So that's really good quality there. Um, the insole, guys, is like a Gatorade green insole. And it says Nike Air branding there. So nothing too special there, but it just kind of stands out and pops at you. What else, guys? What else? Uh, the shoelaces match the same color as the upper, as I meant, of the shoe. Um, on this side of the shoe, we just hit with more of that nice... Look at this, guys. Look at this. Come on. That's really good quality. For the price, I mean, I can't argue with that. Jordan, Brandon Gatorade really knocked this one out of the park, in my opinion. And I've been bashing Jordan all year long about their quality and consistency, but this is really good. Really nice quality leather. And it smells... Guys, if... It smells better than the Air Jordan typical Jordan 1 smell, like that glue. It doesn't give you like a glue smell. It gives you more like a dye smell. So I'm pretty smart. Like the color dye they use for this leather, it's what it is dominant in the smell of this sneaker. The midsole of this sneaker, guys, is just your regular Air Jordan 1 midsole, but except this time it is a translucent uh, lemon lime midsole, which is really nice. I really like that touch. The outsole is just your regular uh lemon lime outsole has gatorade branding there as you can tell with the thunderbolt and the green text so it looks really nice 
I really love the insole on these. And then, as I told you earlier, these did come with two extra lace laces here. And the insole on this one actually says Gatorade, so that's really nice. Look at that, guys. It says Gatorade on that insole. Really, really nice. And these do fit true to size. And the insole on these, I will say it's a lot more comfortable than your, than your typical Air Jordan 1. Um, it has a little bit extra cushion to it. Um, so that's really nice. The quality is consistent. I mean, this quality on this toe box looks really nice. Look how it wrinkles. They fit true to size, as I said. There's the outsole on this one. Um, let me know what you guys think. I mean, these are really nice shoes, in my opinion. Um, I would honestly buy me a personal pair. They came out with the Gatorade red colorway, like the cherry red. I would jump on that immediately in a heartbeat. But they came out with colors that I really don't wear, like blue I really don't wear. And the only way I can see myself wearing blue is if I wear black jeans or like a Levi, a pair, a pair of like um, Levi black uh, jeans or even some black sweats. But that's not my uh, cup of tea because if you do get these wet, guys, it will go through the leather or the dye or whatever material they're using. So if you do get these wet, it will ruin them. Um, so because of that, because of videos I've seen of that, it kind of I'm kind of fearful of spraying Crepitec if I were to buy a personal pair, and uh, so I just don't want to go through that hardship and you know mess up my shoes. But um, if I would, if I would say my favorite colors are the blue lagoon color and the violet purple color or purple color, whatever they're calling that one, those are my two favorites. Uh, the orange one it just kind of to me personally looks like a clown color. Way like I can't see myself wearing that or these either. These I can't see myself wearing. Um, but if you can pull it off, you know, kudos to you guys. I mean, some of you guys can pull it off. Um, but just to me personally, I don't. I'm not feeling those colors. Um, but yeah, this was the most limited color of the collection. And uh, yeah, I heard there's gonna be restocks on these. So if you did want this colorway, just be uh, very patient, and you should be able to get them if that rumor is, you know, in fact true. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell more as importantly. And shout out to the camera girl again. Hit that like button because the camera girl is here again. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.